My hands were super greasy last night and I touched my camera, trying to touch my phone and now it looks super enchanted. <laughs> Come on, Grace! Okay, I'm about to do my makeup and then I realized I just like peeled off the extra parts that were chipping and then just put new builder gel and top coat over it. So we'll see what that means. I don't know if that's gonna be like tiring or exhausting, but we'll feel it out. I like these. My star page star, it says I'm cute. Not you. Okay, we're gonna do holiday makeup, but I don't know what I'm doing, so there's no vibe in mind, but I don't want to montage through it, so. First, let's dust away the damn setting powder that I had on. And I'm not taking off my star face sticker because that pimple big. I think I want to do like a hot chocolate something. I was thinking like candy cane Christmas holiday look, but then I picked up this palette and I was like, oh, yeah. I think I'm going to use this ABH eye primer. I used to be addicted to this thing when it first launched because it's really good. So I think I'm going to use this because I want to do maybe like a light, like, you know, when you're hot chocolate, you like mixed up the marshmallows and you just mixed up some milk and it's like really light. I want that to be kind of like the base. Okay, I'm gonna just put some on the back of my hand. Keep it safe. This eye primer is very pigmented. You really don't need like a whole bunch. I'm literally just gonna dab a little. Like that's already a lot. Like you don't even need this much. It's really, it's really pigmented. I'm just gonna blend it out. Also don't do this after you've set your eyelids. I wasn't, I wasn't planning on doing this. So I had like set my eyelids like usual. But you would normally do this, like you wouldn't put concealer over your eyelids like I did and then set it. You would just put this on. But even with me setting my eyelids, this isn't bad. But that's okay. I forgot to contour my face. Whoops. Bring that all the way in. Look at that. Much better. Let's get a good base color going. I feel like, mm, actually that's a little bit. We're also gonna use my Beauty Creations Origin Palette. Ooh, I think this is actually Beauty Bay. I don't remember. One of the Beauty Bays. Beauty Bay or Beauty, I don't know. Is this shimmery? That is shimmery. Mm. Oh, let's use this one. Let's mix Highlight One. Highlight One in the Beauty Bay Palette with Power in the Huda Palette. Wait, I should bring y'all in. It already feels like a vanilla bean. And the brush I'm using has no words on it, so. Then I kind of want to get into, I can't read the shade names. Not read the shade name from here, but I want to get into these two. I miss New York. New York is really cool, man. But I, I New York is sinking and I'm scared of it. <laughs> that is pretty, okay. I'm gonna use the same shade up here, but I think I wanna bring it like, like I think I wanna give like a double. I'm gonna take this brush. Um, it, it just says King Mess on it, whatever that means. Hey, I'm gonna dip that into the same shades that I was using prior. I'm gonna close this gap with the darker brown right here. Gonna create like a mock eyeliner. Okay, I like where we're at, but I need some more smoke. Don't you worry, I've got just the thing. <laughs> I hate when they say that in movies. <laughs> okay, ready? Good start. I feel like I need to, I want some fade going on up here. So let's do that. Let's just like pick some of this up and just fan it out with the same brush. I just don't want to move my line at the bottom. So I'm just gonna gently fan it up with the same detail brush. This is a Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M506. I'm gonna pick up my eyelid and I'm just gonna bring that in. I'm just gonna start creating a fade with that and I'm gonna start blending it out. See how now it's, it's fading into the top a little? I'm gonna wipe off my brush. I don't wanna keep deepening the line the higher we go. We need it to get lighter, so I just wanted to bring some depth in. And I'm gonna take that same detail brush and that same shade and emphasize my lines. That is sexy. Y'all better be sitting down and doing your makeup with me. We're having our cute little makeup time. Oh, that's so cute. And then I have this double wing, which I really like. Oh, shit! 
somehow that didn't break. That's the one good thing about having these fake wood floors they put in apartments. Into a gentle blend. Windshield wiper motions. It's so cute! Okay. Ugh. I should do eyebrows. No, I'm not doing eyebrows. Don't even ask me that. I'm gonna do the kiss and press falsies. Do y'all like that? I do. Here's the lashes. Let's do this eye together. And I just hit the shit out of my nail. Can you see that? I think these are the style natural in the kiss lashes. I'm not sure if these are natural or voluminous, but it's not spiky. Taking a second one. I'm not using any glue. I'm gonna take one more big one before I start using the smaller size. Like that. Cute! Now we're gonna get into the smaller sizes, and I'm gonna use two because I wanna use three, but I don't have three. Where'd it go? That's my last lash! I fear I'm getting anxiety from you guys watching. Seriously. That is sexy! That shit off. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Mascara for my bottom lashes. This one really packs the product on. Catch my breath. I'm gonna do my lips with Matte Costa Reese. Oh. Not copyright me. Taking my hourglass strike. I want a clear separation from the caramel dark brown. I like the moon. This is so hot chocolate. Well, I need to like warm my face up more. I added a little more blush. But we look so hot chocolate. Beyonce, please don't get me. I took this mango out to eat. Mind you. Okay, I think my plan, I want to stream, but I want ice cream, but then I also want dinner. But then I also need to throw away that orange chicken in my fridge because it's terrible. So I think I'm gonna stream for a little, play some Sims, eat, Right, dispose of the orange chicken. And then, oh, I need to make some other protein then. Maybe I'll make tilapia. Should I make tilapia? I'll make tilapia. Let's make tilapia tonight. Look at my Hello Kitty copy. What is this called? Ooh, is this ASMR? Is that ASMR? Wait. Oh wait, what if I do the inside? The FaceTime? My makeup is so cute! I don't know what it is though, like, my makeup will look like this and something will incline me not to take any pictures. Like, I don't know, I... Uh, I don't know, like, I don't wanna... Like, I already made the content. I don't know how to explain it, like, it just doesn't feel... Like, before, I would do makeup like this and then I would go and get dressed and put in earrings and everything and sit down and take pictures for like four hours. But the vibe is just like not there anymore. I don't know. And it's not that I like don't like the makeup anymore. I don't know what it is, but I need to get my backdrop holder and I need to take some pictures, maybe tomorrow. No, but I'm really liking doing the holiday makeup. Should I keep doing holiday theme makeup like this? Let me know if you guys like it. Um, Cause then maybe we could do like a kiss. Since we did like s'more hot chocolate, maybe we can do like pistachio tomorrow. That'll be, <gasps> let's do that. And then maybe tonight I can try to find a way to take some pictures. I don't know. Guys, I'm gonna go out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a little quick, I'm like obsessed with doing this like fake ASMR. Is this good ASMR? Wait, wait. Did it literally pain you to hold that in? <laughs> <laughs> Literally watching you look 
looking at me like, ah. You literally looked like that was exhausting you holding that in. Stand and deliver. Oh my gosh, you guys are inside the cup. How does it feel? Sorry, okay. Here's, uh, so far, I started making it and then I was like, wait, they would love to see this. So, so far I just put a couple strawberries and pineapple and I just put some honey in there. Got my acai packet and I've already wet it a little bit in the sink so that it's easy to break. I just ran some more water over it and I'm gonna just push that right in there. Now, see it's all broken up, it's gonna blend a lot easier. I don't like my acai paste to be too liquidy so I'm barely gonna add any juice and really go from there. Yeah, that's already pushing it. Um, we're gonna literally try that and see where that takes us. I like my acai to be thick. Okay. We've got the Blendiana. Oh, Blendiana. Cup, blades. I need to figure out how to sharpen these. I tried to sharpen them in my knife sharpener. Um, That consisted of me going like this and it didn't freaking work. So that was like humbling. Then, bowl set. <laughs> First time I've ever done this, it's literally not sealed. I'm literally like, why does it look like it's getting everywhere? Um, because it was. <laughs> it literally was not closed. OMG. It wasn't a lot. It was just like, I was literally like, why does it look like it's raining? Like, <laughs> there was like little droplets and there's some in the base, but that's okay, guys. You just gotta make sure you seal yours and not half pay attention like me. Shut your mouth, baby, stand and deliver. Do you know the next lyric? I absolutely do not. Yeah, I, I would think. It's gotta be something like, if they said, shut your mouth, stand and deliver, it's gotta be something like, and then you go figure. <laughs> that sounds about right. Like this. Shut your mouth, baby, stand and deliver. Yeah, like I think you're a sinner. Wait, that's good though. Hey, I think that's good. I, I feel like that was kind of good. Okay, what about shut your mouth, baby, stand and deliver. And it goes like that. <laughs> now it's sealed. I can't believe I did that. I've never done that before. I've had this for so long. Put my granola base. I use this granola. I literally will use any granola is fine, I'm sure. This is the cheapest one they have at Aldi. I'm pretty sure and that's why I pick it. Granola base. Cute boots. Get my Nutella and my almonds. I've been putting I forgot I was almost out of it. Okay, I have just enough. Uh, guys, I have just enough Nutella for this bowl. I'm gonna literally dump my paste on top. Ooh, that was kinda gross. I got this wooden spoon at the Korean market and I like love it. And I'm gonna use this to eat. And I'm gonna get all the extra stuff off because I want all my fucking bags. Give me all that, thanks. Spread it and like flatten it down. Oh, I made my paste too sweet today. I don't like how much honey I put in it. That's okay. I'm gonna take some Nutella. Well, I'm gonna take all the Nutella in here because there is not much left. And I'm gonna scrape it all to the bone. I want all the Nutella. This looks like a lot, but it's not. I need more than that. I like my shit lathered in Nutella. Like after, while I'm eating mine, I literally will sit there and be like, this is too much Nutella, my stomach hurts. If I'm not feeling like that, I don't have enough Nutella. I need more than that. Plus my paste is a little too thick today. I should have added a little more juice. It's not very smooth. This is literally all the Nutella I could scrape out of there. And we're gonna take the granola. And I like to do a second layer of granola because I really like granola. Do they have Nutella in like a squeeze bottle? They have got to. They have a squeeze bottle condensed milk. There's no way they haven't come up with that yet. I'm gonna take some blueberries. Hey. That's a lot. Um, Go back in there. That's way too many. Go back in there. Then I'm gonna take a strawberries. Well, I'm gonna use all the strawberries in here because there's not many. <laughs> Me when I use the mason jar lid as a cutting board because I don't feel like getting my cutting board. Guys, don't make things harder for yourself than they need to be. I have to cut this so delicately because I have like no, <gasps> wait. And now I have a cutting board. Period, period. Look at that. 
Work smarter, not harder, kids. I literally have a cutting board and I didn't have to wash a single dish. Oh yeah, this isn't even Nutella. It's hazelnut spread from Aldi, but it tastes just like Nutella. It's just significantly cheaper. So yeah, I get into that. What can I say except you're welcome. Then the last thing is I'm gonna finish this off with the raspberries I have left. I really like yeah. raspberries. I like to eat these with my um, yogurt by themselves. Like I just mix them into my yogurt and I make raspberry yogurt in the mornings and it's so good. Oh my gosh, I love raspberries. They're, oh, I didn't even think of that. I like doing it with raspberries because they're they're so mushy with how I store them that yeah. they just like uh, melt in. That, that sounds even yummier than blueberries. So the last two things is gonna be the almonds. These are literally just sliced almonds I got from Aldi. Shake them over the top. Um, I literally was on TikTok talking about, yeah guys, I saw someone say almond mom and I'm not an almond mom, I'm more of a, an almond adult. And then someone told me what an almond mom was. And I said, oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's not what I am at all, by the way. <laughs> I literally thought it was just a mom that liked almonds. Uh, um, I'm not like an almond girly teen girl. I literally thought it was just like, oh, people must really like almonds to make a specific tier for them <laughs> when it's a mom. Uh, no, but someone was really nice about correcting me. They were like, um, Shallon, that's not what an almond mom is. I said, oh, okay, I'm not that. <laughs> Me at all. What the hell? That's not what I meant. Um, this is just that? you said what? Who said I was that? Me when I said it. <laughs> this is just condensed milk. Um, after people saw me struggling with my condensed milk can on TikTok, someone suggested a squeeze one, and then I literally found it on Instacart. They literally sell squeezed condensed milk. That's why I'm like, there's no way they don't have squeezable Nutella. Can't can't get into the peanut butter on the acai bowl. Can't won't. Can't won't. Will never. Oh my gosh, the alien fingers. We used to do this all the time in school, but I could never do it fast as, as fast as everyone else. It would take me forever. Like kids would just go, <sighs> but then you see that I can't do it like that. Spider-Man. <sighs> Wait, no. Spider-Man's, no, this is Spider-Man, right? Spider-Man's is this. Oh, yeah. Spider-Man. <laughs> what can I say besides? Besides that, <laughs> the bowl is done, guys. I need to order groceries though, so I can like continue to enjoy my bowl, but that's it. Bye. Guys, I'm having a bad day. And it's really loud where I live. I'm using the, I'm using this foundation today. She goes backwards, I'm using this foundation. That's my shades. I did not make enough. I have to make a little more, so I'll just show you. Just like that. This is to warm it up because my foundation is too light. <laughs> Having a bad day today, but um, I'm having a bad day every day, so. <laughs> uh, bad day today, bad day still. This does look a little yellow. We're gonna need to neutralize her a bit. I feel like your foundation looking too yellow, you can really fix with as long as down here is neutral. Like if you don't want to add new foundation all around, neutralize where it may, where it meets your neck. That tends to save me when my foundation isn't um, matching. See? Look how much, oh my gosh, look how that blended right into my neck. That's crazy. I'm filming an episode of um, Get Out of My House podcast, so I'm hoping... Do you guys, should I post those on YouTube? And we've got the one size concealer. Just a dot, just a dot. Trust, that's enough. Charlotte Tilbury. That's please too much. I eat the pizza. <laughs> Don't freak out, I swear. Oh, that would be cute if that was my look. I had a bad day, let me be cringy. Maybe that's my excuse for everything. I had a bad day. I feel like I should do bronzer first. I don't know why I keep doing that. I keep, I know that I like how it looks when I do bronzer first, but for some reason, I keep doing my damn blush first. Which I don't like, cause yeah, it blends into like red poop. Always mess up my makeup. I put way too much. Bruh, I grabbed the wrong stick and this stick is too dark. I thought I grabbed the lighter one. No! This has got to be fixable. I'm not, if I have to start my makeup over, I simply won't be. I simply won't be. I, I will get up and go to bed. I'm not in a mental space to start over this makeup. No fucking way. Are you kidding me? You're lying! Okay, I kind of saved it, but I don't know. It still looks excessive. We'll see when everything's done. I don't know if I like it. Just make, don't worry about what I'm doing. Mm. Okay, I gotta put on some earrings because I feel naked. Oh, these earrings, are they super cutie? I've never worn them. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are these cute? Or did I just get excited because they're shiny? I feel like they're cute. Actually, yes. Okay, let's go film. Okay. I'm, I'm so tired. But I need to film this last video. So we're about to put on Oscar's costume. Oh my gosh, it smells like my boyfriend. It's so perfect. Oh, and there is no one to clip the back. There's boots, but I'm not putting them on because he wasn't outside. Maybe I should take my wig off. Oops. We're gonna make breakfast. Here's my rice that I've been eating for five days. I'm gonna make avocado rice and egg and spinach. It's been what I've really liked eating lately. Very lazy girl. I'm literally just gonna use the back of the butter, the spoon, and, and literally just tear off some of that butter. Ow! That hurt. And I think that's gonna be it for the butter. Now we're gonna get to the frying. I feel like I've seen a lot of people say you shouldn't use wood, like wooden stuff in the kitchen, they hold bacteria. How is that true? How is that true when they're this cute? This is cute. This is cuter than the other stuff. So that's not true. Anyway, make sure your stove is on medium. Maybe a, maybe medium low so that um, the egg doesn't like form into a fried egg before you can add the rice. Mix that up. I've also started adding, whenever I make this exact thing, I've also started adding my seasonings after. While I do think that um, you can just season after, I tried it once where I seasoned them all together. You can turn the stove up now. I tried it once where I seasoned it all after and I think I liked that. That was pretty good. Now I'm just gonna let my egg fry before I add my rice and my spinach. Actually, let's wash the spinach now. Watch my egg. Oh, wait. I'm gonna wash the spinach together. I'm just gonna take literally a handful and rinse it out. Squeeze it. And I'll bring all that water in my pan. Let's toss it back. Put that together. While this is all just frying up, I turn the stove up a little bit gonna really let this get hard. I like hard egg. I'm gonna cut my avocado. Prepare our avocado. Don't ever cut towards yourself, please. I'm just crazy. Please be good. <gasps> oh, gee! oh wait, I need to get a jar for my avocado. Here's a shallot I bought a while ago and I never um, preserved, so I'm literally just gonna put this in a mason jar and put my avocado in there so that it'll stay fresh. I want to cut this though because I don't, I don't know what's the truth, but I feel like the shallot being open is what makes it Preserve the avocado. I think I need to make, I'm making tilapia for dinner tonight, so I need to make more rice. I like tilapia and rice. I don't think I'm gonna eat all this right now though, so I think, I know this isn't much rice, but I'll maybe eat it for lunch later. I'm gonna turn the stove down. I had it a little high, because um, my, my egg was just felt like it was frying. Stir that up. Flatten any chunks, flatten any chunks. And now I'm gonna add my seasonings. Saison, pepper. Mm, that's kind of a lot, but that's okay. I feel like sometimes when I'm really sad, I overcompensate with, with myself um, because I feel guilty when I feel sad. And I, um, I don't know where that derives from, but I just feel really guilty whenever I feel too sad about something. So I feel like I have to not be that sad and I need to like be happier. And I, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I'm doing that a little bit right now, but I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know. Anyway, this is gonna, I'm gonna turn the heat down and let this fry a little bit. No, you're gonna, you're gonna, I just cleaned the stove yesterday. There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell. Nope, nope, nope. What a good old Macy. I'm just gonna cut this bitch in half. I hope that that's good. <laughs> I'm gonna just toss it in there and hope that that's um, a good thing that I did and not bad. This is too small, nor. Oh, I have to cut them smaller. That's literally all, girl, calm down. I was literally about to freak out. Girl, be calm. <gasps> You're lying! Okay, this is a problem. <laughs> 
This is a little bit of a problem. It's not fitting. They always fit. This avocado is too big. This is Nort Gourds. Nort Gourds. Okay, so the shallots fit. The problem is I just have a jar of shallots now. This is a good time to test the theory someone asked me on TikTok, which is if, she, if I thought that worked because those, um, those avocados I was putting in there still had the seed. So this one doesn't have the seed and I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna take a shallot out from here and put it in here. I'm gonna take some out. And now we'll really see if it's because it has the seed or not. It's, I think, December 20th. This is how it looks. Let's see. Um, I think I'm gonna turn off the heat now because I think we're at a good stopping point. Now we're gonna plate the rice, egg, spinach mixture. And immediately while my pan is hot, I put water in it. I'm sure that's not what you're supposed to do, but that's what I did. Now we gotta kick out the seed. Get out. Oh, and I love this little thing. And I just, yup. Perfectly sliced avocado. Are you kidding me? That's clutch. Press the back. That's, that's literally it. I love this shit. Ooh, and I got the whole thing. Literally scrounge it up if you want, but it, it probably got the majority. Even I'm greedy, so I want all my avocado because avocados are expensive. <laughs> Salt and pepper the avocado, just so she's got some flavor on her own. And that's it. This is gonna hopefully make me feel better. <laughs> We're gonna do natural makeup today. My MAC 24 hours is such a good concealer. That's what I just put on. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes, I think. If anyone's not sure what I use for the white concealer, I'm oh! anyone's not sure what I use for my nose, it's this white concealer by e.l.f. My best friend again. Look at that. That is blended. If you give it cosmetics, one thing is coverage. <laughs> so girly pop. This even showed up, but it's very cute. <laughs> okay, we're looking cute. And TB mascara. Mm, I don't know if I want to do like a full mascara or like a. My camera's dying, so when it dies, I'll be back later. <laughs> she's on. She's hanging on her last leg. Ooh. We should do separate mascara today. The little three three prong mascara. I feel like that's. Is that the vibe, or should I just do the whole eye? I should do the whole eye, shouldn't I? No. Yes. No. I don't know. Is it giving? I spent all this time doing my makeup and I don't like it. Something about it just doesn't look like me. Like, I feel like, I just feel like it doesn't look like me. It feels like it looks weird. I'm hella mad. I bought this thinking I can use it for this. I wanted to try vacuum sealing my vegetables because I was like, okay, what's gonna make them last longer? Vacuum sealing them, duh. You can't use this with my food saver. My normal size food saver doesn't have a part for the attachment. So I bought it for no reason. So I'm a little mad about that. So I can't even do that tonight. OMG, because I don't think there's a way to seal this without the sealer. Let's see. I'll bring it back, back. Yeah, I don't know how this would work there. I'm actually confused about how this works in general. Or I think this would work, but I think it has to work with your food saver. And I have this model. And in the picture that this was attached to that I just saw, it like attached somewhere here and I, I don't have that. So what I really want, glass Tupperware, but cute glass Tupperware. I want something that has like a wood cover. I don't know, but mine is ugly and it's plastic and I know you're not supposed to, like you need to like, I'm trying to get rid of all the plastic in my life and have glass, like good durable glass. Um, like even with my air fryer, I gave my air fryer away, I donated it and I got, I got this glass one from Aroma and I love it. I love being able to like see what I'm air frying. It's cool. That's cool. I wanted to make a sandwich, but I also just really got the desire to eat an acai bowl. So maybe we make a sandwich to have some good sustenance and then an acai bowl, but let's do our fruits first. Let's do that. Let's, let's stay on one track. I did just notice it's 619 and I do want to make tilapia for dinner. So I need to make my sandwich immediately. Sandwich acai dinner. Let's try to follow that. We've got our white bowl. We're gonna start with the blueberries because I'm gonna add them to the blueberries I have here. Let's just open them up. I'm gonna rinse this lightly because it's we're they're really gonna get a rinse. Ignore the mug in the sink. You got 20, you got 20 11 dishes in your sink right now worried about my mug. Just run some quick water over that. And if you weren't worried about me, then you don't have 20 11 dishes in the sink. Okay, dump them in there. I've just got some white vinegar here. And I'm gonna take some of dad's and I'm gonna just do that. That was a lot more than I meant to. And I'm gonna add some water. There's no like set amount. Just add water till it looks like it makes sense. Stir them up just occasionally while they're really stir them in. And I just let them sit there and marinate for a little while. 
We'll check back on these in like five minutes. It's more. <laughs> Maybe we can start on our sandwich. Let me get bread. I don't have a vibe in mind for the sandwich, but I know I want to use sourdough and turkey and cheddar cheese. I'm gonna make a fun sandwich. Let's get it. Let me get more ingredients. A lot of ingredients here. And I feel like we are going to make a fun sandwich out of this. Don't worry. You guys seem worried. You shouldn't be. This is going to go great. Don't worry. Okay. Let's start with our bread. I'm just going to put the bread in the toaster right now, but I'm not going to toast it yet. Similar. Oh my gosh, that's a tiny ass piece of toast. I only have one big piece of sourdough. Oh my gosh, I only have baby slices. I don't want a baby sandwich. Guys, this is a problem. Why didn't you tell me I was running out of sourdough? We're gonna have to make a mini sandwich. No! Okay, we need to make, we need to make it like that guy in Lilo and Stitch. It's like a big ass sandwich. Cause this sucks. Okay, I'm a little sad. What we're gonna do is I don't like raw lunch meat just like this, like the wet ass lunch meat. So what I do is I need, I, 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 I microwave it. I need it to be a little less this. Sorry, I can't get behind it. I hate it. Sometimes I'll let it fly if I really don't feel like, I don't know, if I'm really feeling lazy. But I, I, I got time today. You guys eat that? Of course you would. You're crazy. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> We're all crazy, boogies. Okay, wait, that's that's way too much. That's way too much. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Just a little ass sandwich. Okay, wait, just a little more. That's enough. That's enough. You're doing the most now. You're doing the most. I'm literally going to microwave this until it looks crispy. Maybe like... I'm gonna try 30, I'll try a minute. All that microwaves, let's do the cheese. Let me get my favorite knife. Who she and she rolling. My cutting board. Hey, smart. See, that's what I'm talking about. That looks, that looks delicious. Okay, let me get a, let me get a reusable bag for the cheese after. Hopefully it fits in here. Um, I'm gonna most certainly try. Okay, let me open this up. I have not used um, block cheese in so long because block cheese um, requires work and I'm lazy, so I never like buying it anymore. But sometimes block cheese is worth it. Like, I want to start making pasta and shit. And block cheese is good for that. Hey! And like uh, macaroni pie and stuff. I'm just going to take like a nice, delicate slice out of you. Thank you. Oh, that is way less, not that delicate, okay? I need some cheese in there, thank you. Damn, it's hard ass cheese. Ooh, what a good cut of cheese. That's a real piece of cheese. Okay, let me let me just do one more. That's, um, I'm, I'm lactose intolerant, I need to calm down. I don't think I know a single person. You know the joke about how no one that's lactose intolerant cares? Yeah, I, don't, I couldn't tell you. A single lactose intolerant person that gives a shit about being lactose intolerant. And I'm and I'm at the top of that list. Okay, that's that's enough cheese. I'm I'm doing most. I'm literally gonna blow up my bed. No, you're gonna fit. Oh, okay. She heard my I was scared, I was frightened. I was petrified. No! You've you've gotta fit, please. Literally the tiniest nub doesn't wanna fit in there. Oh no, never mind. Now what I'm gonna do is I want to put this cheese on top of this. Hear me out. I know it's crazy, but hear me out. I'm going to lightly melt it on top of this. Wait, lightly, literally microwave it for like 10 seconds. My baby ass bread. Toast it. I know this is for like fried chicken, but I can't find my full size, my mini strainer. So, and I need to use this, this liquid, so. I'm literally just gonna go like this. I usually have like a handheld strainer and then I'm gonna dunk it in here. I need these to dry before we add them to our mason jar. And I stopped using the salad spinner because I realized it was drying them, but not enough. Like they, they were still kind of wet after. So I'm just gonna literally leave this near my sink like that. I'm gonna try something that I've never tried before, which is actually putting my sauce on the bread. Just honestly, I'm feeling a little curious tonight, so I'm just gonna try some different things. I'm just gonna go like that. Oh, and that's too long. Lightly melted cheese. Put that right on there. Yup. Yup. Look at that, like what the hell -y? That's gonna be so good. 
For this being such a tiny sandwich, I'm gonna get my filling. I'm gonna get my fill, okay? Um, I don't wanna open the kale because I don't have anything to put it in after, so I am simply gonna use this, oh, arugula spinach mixture, and I'm just not gonna use a lot. Just literally this much. Um, this isn't like a recipe I'm following of mine. I'm, I'm just adding shit. Cause I'm hungry and I have a lot of ingredients that I wanna use and not waste. And we're gonna cut up some cucumbies. We're gonna put some cucumber on there. I'm gonna put it in here after. I'm just gonna use this butter knife and just cut it down a little bit so it can fit in my mason jar. Why am I doing this with a butter knife when I do have the queen of all knives right here? I'm just gonna cut this a little smaller. Oh, stab myself just a teeny bitty. Okay. And normally I would use this these as pickles, but I'm trying to pretend that I'm healthy, so we're gonna use cucumber. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of proud of our little sandwich so far. She's adorable. I'm gonna add a little more honey mustard because I really do like honey mustard. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of relish. When does this expire? Oh, and it did expire. Expiration dates are just suggestions to me. You should follow them though. Just a little bit. And then our topping. Look at our sandwich, guys. Mm-hmm. I'm really the sandwich maker. Like, I make a good sandwich. Oh, I should have put tomato. Okay, I'm gonna literally chop up this little baby tomato. I shouldn't have to saw you, stop it. And I'm just gonna put that. I got banana peppers! I literally bought banana peppers for my sandwich. Wait, I'm gonna add some too. Feeling crazy. No, I want all my toppings on my sandwich. I've never actually had banana peppers. Um, I just used to like them when Pizza Hut would add them on the side to your pizza stuff. I would always tear them up, so I'm assuming I like them. You want a bite? Here. The little last amount of bread I have left at the top versus the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish this and then we'll finish the fruits. I'm actually gonna try these banana peppers. Like, do I like do I like these? Let's find out. Let's find out if I even like a banana pepper on her own. Ooh, okay. I remember that being sweeter. That do not taste like a banana. <laughs> Salt. Okay, we'll do it over the plate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We just need a little bit of salt. Can you see the salt? My mom used to put salt on grapes. I don't remember if she froze them, but she'll put salt on grapes. It was really good. I just cut off the cucumber butt. I don't want to eat that. You want the last one? No. <laughs> Oh, this is what we do on a Saturday night. I think it's actually Tuesday. This is what we do on a Tuesday night. <laughs> I think that we can now do the blueberries. Now bring it back. I'm gonna have to wash this because I'm using my SIE in it. But we're gonna take our old blackberries, blueberries, put them in a bowl. We want the newer stuff to the bottom, the more the older things to the top. Generally pretty dry. At most, I would take like a napkin and just like shuffle them up or grab them out with the napkin if I really wanna make sure that they're dry. But my bowl is also, my mason jar already has like some condensation from last time, so I'm just gonna wipe it up and make it as best as I can, as dry as I can. Dry them up, add them in. You don't have to do all this if you're patient and you wait and let your fruits dry. I'm not patient. I wanna go lay down, so I need these dry now. Bring it back. You should probably be seeing what I'm doing. That would make more sense. Oh, my kitchen island gets here next week, guys. I'm so excited. Now I'm gonna fish out my blackberries. I actually kind of like this method. And I did forget to wash them off after I vinegared them. Um, and I don't feel like doing that, so hopefully that's safe. Now I'm gonna rinse these off. Cause I forgot to do that with the blueberries. 
Once you've done that, I am gonna quickly dry them because I want to go lay down. Dry them off and add them in. You're gonna, you're gonna go in. You're gonna comply. Thanks. Thanks though. Thanks for trying. Crazy. Trash in this bowl. In this, in this mason jar. Get in there. Get in there. Be patient and do it the right way, y'all. I'm just crazy. And see, now I done dropped one in the, in the wet plop in the sink. That just pissed me off. Now I'm gonna add back in my old blueberries. So they're at the top and I'll use them first. Shake it up. She's about to get full, but I'm just gonna use the rest of these in my fruit bowl. Anyway, oh, gee, I'm spilling them. Just pack it in there. <laughs> I want them all to fit. <laughs> Period. That's exactly how you do that. Top it. Lock it, polka dot it, oh, hip hop it. Wait, is this ASMR? Nope, okay. We got our raspberries. Let's do the same thing. Rinse them off first. Once you've done so, dunk them. That scared the shit out of me. I literally thought that was a bee. Stir them up a little bit. This is freaking me out. You gotta get out of here. Oh, and I did lose it, so <laughs> that's okay. It'll just freak me out again when I see it. Just let those saturate. R raspberries are the most annoying to do this with. Oh, I found it. Are the most annoying to do this with, so there's that. How is that, how is that not a bug? I don't know. Just leave them. Now we gotta finish with this. Raspberries are so mushy though, so they're always annoying. Um, so I'm gonna rinse these off. I'm gonna try something different for them today. Cause putting a napkin in here, I did not like. The napkin was literally just mushy and gross immediately after. So I'm just gonna try this. Like, let's just see what we get. If we just try them quick dry here, quick dry here. I don't wanna squeeze the juice out. So I'm just gonna quick dry. And I'm gonna just try this. They're drier than they usually would be. Cause I love raspberries, but they're annoying to store. This is one of my favorite fruits. I'm becoming, I'm realizing the older I get, I'm such a berry girl. Like I used to really, I'll be honest, I don't think I cared much for berries when I was younger. Did you guys like, always like berries? I feel like I, didn't, I honestly didn't really care for them until, yeah, like around this age, because before I used to like like mangoes and pineapples and those were always my favorite fruits. But then one day I was like, I think I love strawberries and blackberries and blueberries and raspberries and I have not turned back. Like I really love these. Just dab these up the best I can. I will say they're not as mushy as they usually are when I put them in here, so I don't know. Maybe something was different. Not really, but something. Me when I'm delusional. Ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all are, uh-uh. You're definitely gonna fit. I hope you know that. Not what I wanted to do, but um, I have more. Like, they all have to fit in here, sorry. Me when I'm frying raspberry chicken. Guys, don't eat the raspberry chicken from Office Depot. And that's our fruit. It was only so annoying. Oh, I hate doing that every time. There's gotta be an easier way. Like I told y'all, I wanna put some of my artwork up. So I wanted to put some here maybe. Let's try that. Maybe let's put this here. That's cute, right? I'm honestly just gonna do shit. So let's hope it looks good. Not to flex, but I do have hella, hella nails. Nails on nails on nails. Like that's a money spread right there. I'll put it where I want it. And then I'll find the center and I'll just go like that on the wall. My thing is I always hook it on the frame and not the thing. Oh, I think that's on the thing. Cute. Okay. How cute is that? We got one down. Okay, if you have like a picture frame like this that you're trying to hang up, I just like to tape it and, and this thing gets in the way and it's, it doesn't let your picture stay flat. I'll literally just tape it down and it, sh it literally should never be a problem again. I hate tap water, but I have decided to stop buying plastic water bottles. So I've just been like drinking water out of this little thermal thermos thing. But even though I have like a filtered water thing, I still feel like it just tastes like tap water. I swear to you, I've just been adding this one, two. And it feels like it fixes it. Like, I don't know what that's about. But it feels like, I don't know if it neutralizes the, all the, I don't know what it does, but it works and it literally tastes so much better. Oh, that one TikTok trend. <laughs> Funny.